Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is January 28th, 2024. And as you already know, Xavi Hernandez has announced his resignation as the first team coach. And as such, a lot of questions have emerged about who will be Barcelona's coach. Now in this video, I will talk about all the possible names that are currently being discussed by the board of directors and which name is currently leading the pack as a possible replacement for Xavi Hernandez. We have a lot to discuss. So let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo. And before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag where they're currently having a pretty generous sale. And if you are looking to place any sports bets on all sporting events around the world, make sure you head to Bet Us where they're currently having a special offer for all new signups if you use my link. Both links for kit bag and Bet Us down below in the description. Now, as you already know, Xavi Hernandez announced yesterday after the Villarreal match that he will be stepping down as a first team coach on June 30th, so at the end of the season. And as such, Barcelona are already hard at work to try to find a replacement for Xavi Hernandez as a first team manager. Now, there are several names on the list, some that generate some consensus, some that generate a lot of doubt, but most importantly, there is one name ahead of all this pack, and I will reveal that name for you in a bit. Now, the first name that on this list, and this is a name I've discussed in the past, is of course Imanol Alwasil, who is Real Sociedad's coach. And he's on the list because Barcelona are impressed with the project that he's undertaking at Real Sociedad, and especially how he's been able to manage and develop the young team, uh, the young talent at the Basque team. Now, the only problem with Imanol Alwasil is that Barcelona board have doubts about whether he would be able to manage a big locker room such as Barcelona, full of stars and big names. And they also are worried about whether he would be able to manage the expectations of a Barcelona manager. Because after all, when you're a manager for smaller teams, the expectations are much lower. You're only expected to play well. But when you're a Barcelona manager, you're of course expected to win trophies. And they don't know whether Imanol Alwasil is capable of managing such pressure and such expectations. Now, the second name on this list is, of course, Mitchell the Girona coach, who just like Imanol Alwasil has done an impressive job with Girona, building a project from the ground up, a successful project, despite having a very small budget and mostly players that nobody knows about. However, the doubts about Mitchell are the same as Imanol Alwasil whether Mitchell would be able to manage such a big locker room such as Barcelona and whether he would be man able to manage the expectations and the pressure of being a Barcelona coach. Now, an added thing or an added difficulty or obstacle to Mitchell becoming Barcelona's coach is, of course, that he is Girona's coach and Girona does belong to the city group, which, of course, are the owners of Manchester City. So that makes it much more difficult because it's very highly unlikely that Girona would want to part with a coach regardless of the money offered because after all city group seem to have infinite amount of money now the third name on this list is a name that we've talked about in the past which is tiago mota who has done a great job with bologna in the city ah someone who came on day one and did a cleanup of the locker room getting rid of the veterans and also doing a great job developing the young talent but just like Imanol and just like Mitchell, Barcelona's fear is whether Thiago Mota would be able to handle a big locker room such as Barca's and the expectation and the pressure that comes along with the job. Now, the fourth name is, of course, the Zerbi, someone you guys have mentioned a lot in the comments section. He has Brighton's coach who has also done a good job with Brighton's project, playing pretty impressive football, doing a good job developing young talent. But again, and I don't want to seem repetitive, Another doubt that Barcelona have is the same as Mitchell, Imanol, and um, Thiago Mota, which is that Barcelona have their doubts whether the Zerbi would be able to manage a big locker room like Barcelona and manage the expectations and the pressure of the job. Now, the problem with all these four names, Imanol, Mitchell, the Zerbi, and Thiago Mota, is that Barcelona now are reportedly looking for an experienced coach. 
someone who has managed big teams because they feel like they took their risk with Xavi Hernandez, someone who didn't have experience. This risk did not pay off. So they're not willing to take another big risk with any of these four names. They are now looking more for an experienced coach because they are uh, they don't want to bet or toss a coin and try to bring someone in experience to see maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. They want someone with more guarantee. Now, speaking of names with experience and proven names, there's of course Jorgen Klopp who has announced that he will be stepping down as Liverpool's coach at the end of the season. However, he has also announced that he wants a year off. He wants a sabbatical because he is tired because of the demands of the job. So I don't think that he's a real possibility, but nonetheless, there are reports saying that there are voices within Barcelona that say we should still reach out to Jurgen Klopp to see if he would take the job. But again, Jurgen Klopp is a man of his word, so I highly doubt that he would wanna take on another job and that he most likely will take that sabbatical year that he's been talking about. Now, three names who still have experience, who are proven names and are names that John Laporta consistently talked about when he was a candidate for the presidency of FC Barcelona. And those names are the three Germans, Tuchel, Nagelsmann and Flick. Now, in regards to Tuchel, at the time he joined PSG, so that's why Barcelona did not try to sign him as the coach. Then there is Nagelsmann, who John Laporta was a big fan of as a, as a coach. However, it's reported that he created a lot of doubt within Laporta and his board because of his young age and his inexperience. And finally, there is the name of Hansi Flick, the name that's reportedly currently leading the pack and that's the name that's currently generating the most consensus within Barcelona. Now, John Laporta was a huge, huge fan of Flick when he was a candidate for Barcelona, and it's reported that when Koeman was sacked, John Laporta reached out to Flick and actually spoke to him twice, meeting with him virtually to try to hire him for the job. But at the time, it's reported that Flick said no to Barcelona because he, he was coming midway through the season. So it would have been a project that was already started by a different coach. And also, Barcelona were unable to give Flick the guarantees that he would be able to sign new players or get rid of, new, uh, of older players. So as a result, Flick said no. But nonetheless, it's reported that Flick is currently generating the most consensus within Barcelona and is leading the pack on this list because the Barcelona board considered that Flick is a coach that would be able to do a locker room cleanup. He would be a coach that would be able to nurture and develop the young talent that we currently have. And he is the coach that would be able to revolutionize the Barcelona style of play, modernize it, and make it more intense, which is what modern football currently requires. Anyway, these are all the names that Barcelona are currently considering as the new coach of the first team. And of course, I would love to hear from you. Which name on this list would you like to see as a Barcelona coach? Is there a different name that's not on this list that you would like to see as a Barcelona coach? Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, be scarce.